Begin at the very beginning of LED lighting displays. Turn LEDs on and off. Then flash your very own sequence to bring the LEDs to life. Let's start by placing a start tool. We also need to check that we are using the 12F508, which is the microchip for the Pico mood. We can place an output tool. The output tool allows us to turn pins, high or low, which effectively turns the LEDs on or off. Making G5 a high, we can annotate that and we can link it up by hovering over the tools and dragging from one node to the next. Let's program to see what it does. That's turned on the green LED. Let's relabel green on. And we'll select copy, control C, control V to place that in our system design area. We'll change to another pin, make G5 low, make G4 high. Program. You'll see this turns on our red LED. Once again, control C to copy, control V to paste it into our system design area. Make G4 low, G2 high. OK. Program. Now we have our blue LED on. These are the three LEDs of the Pico mood. Now we can arrange these LEDs to turn on in sequence by placing the output tools side by side and linking them up. Let's highlight those, click horizontal, horizontal, just to align those better. Now if we program, we're going to see what happens. It looks like all three LEDs are on at the same time. And this is because each output tool only takes two millionths of a second. So to go from blue to green takes two millionths of a second and green to red takes two millionths of a second and red back to blue is two millionths of a second. Then it's six millionths of a second to go through that whole cycle over and over and over again and we can do that many times in one second. It's about 170,000 times that we can go through that cycle every second and that means our eyes can't see it so it merges the three colors together. In our eyes we see green, red and blue on all at the same time even though they're not. So let's slow things down a little by placing in a delay. And if we place a delay, we can actually put it in between each of those output tools. Now if we program, we have a one second delay on blue but we don't have any delay on green or red, so they don't light up too much at all. Let's change that delay to half a second, 0.5, and we'll annotate it as such. Now we can copy and paste that tool, and we'll place those one for each of our output states.
we need to delete one of these link lines to draw in the last one. And we'll select all of those horizontal alignment, horizontal distribution. Let's program. Blue, green, red, over and over again. That's our lead sequence. We're going to create a note now just to identify what it is we've done. I'm going to select the format text through the right click menu, bold, and 20. Double click to get back into the text. Pico Mood, Lesson 1, Hello World. I'm just going to move this arrow, make it look a bit nicer. Now that I have my system design, I can save it. Pico Mood, Lesson 1, Hello World. So when you have finished, you can print that as a PDF, or you can print it through XPS, which is a Microsoft format like PDF. Once you've saved and printed this file, you can hand it in to your teacher for assessment. You might also like to do a bit of an extension activity where you go and change some of these LEDs so that you have different LEDs on at the same time, maybe blue and green, or red and green, or blue and red. And you might like to change the timing. You can put in as many of these output states as you want. You don't have to stick with just three. So go ahead, have fun, and we'll see you next lesson.